One should realize that the position and the role of an Imam is not only to administer the affairs and the needs of Muslim Ummah, rather he is the link between man and God, the link between the material and the spiritual worlds. Moreover, his physical presence or absence has no bearing on his position in regards to this role. This can be derived from one of the sayings narrated by Imam Mahdi, May Allah hasten his reappearance himself. My benefit to the people during my occultation is similar to that of the sun when it disappears from sight behind the clouds. Examining the above saying from a scientific approach, we understand that, just like how the earth is sustained with the sun's energy and light, irrespective of whether it is behind clouds, similarly, we derive immense spiritual benefit from our Imam, regardless of whether he is physically with us or not. Furthermore, one can also obtain another important role of Imamat from the saying above. Today, we know that the sun is the center of the solar system, and its existence nourishes and nurtures for the planetary objects around it. Similarly, Imam's sole presence, whether active or not, is of paramount importance as it is the source of life for all as without the existence of God's proof on earth the world is. Today we know that the sun is the center of the solar system and its existence nourishes and nurtures for the planetary objects around it. Similarly, Imam's sole presence, whether active or not, is of paramount importance as it is the source of life for all as without the existence of God's proof on earth, the world is tantamount to complete annihilation. We therefore have to be mindful of what we do and should endeavor in making our souls pure by nourishing them with the divine light, thus making our souls the abode for Allah and His beloved angels. Spiritual perfection should be our goal, 
And if there is any doubt as to whether Imam is aware of our acts and is overlooking the welfare of his followers, saying by Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance, should suffice us. We have not ignored your consideration and have not forgotten your mention. Otherwise, hardship would have descended upon you and your enemies would have exterminated you. peace be upon him, is therefore watching over our affairs and is patiently waiting our response to his call. The matter regarding the return of Imam is not one simply related to awaiting a time frame chosen by the Almighty Allah. Rather, in accordance to the narration from Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it has a direct relationship with our own actions, as he says, the best of actions is awaiting al-farat, or the return. The emphasis in this saying is on the word actions, because it is in reference to participating in an action in order to bring about that awaited time. From this narration stems, the school of awaiting, which is a comprehensive study into the necessary approaches and actions of the Muslim community in order to hasten the appearance of the return. It is therefore necessary for everyone to work tirelessly for this objective and to remember that this mission is the only legitimate solution to the problems faced by mankind at large. It is the responsibility of everyone to remind those around them of this sacred mission. It is likewise their responsibility to sacrifice their time, efforts, and even their finances for the cause of the awaited Imam. It is a frequent saying amongst many Muslims when they remembered the martyrs of Karbala to chant, if only we were with you, for surely we would have been victorious. We today have that option. We have an Imam in our occultation waiting for us to reach out towards him. He is patiently waiting for that time to come, where a small group of people would truly be of his followers, such that he may appear and lead this Muslim Ummah towards salvation, and yet we as a people sit and do nothing. <laughs> 